Hello! So first of all I want to say thank you to the lovely and amazing response I got back from my last video which is all about my birthday and thank you all for the lovely birthday messages I received so thank you very much. Now this video or most of the video is going to be about bullying and how crappy it is. I'm pretty sure most people who are watching this video have been bullied at some point in their life or some people have maybe been the one that have bullied people. A few people have wondered what the Sprinkle of Courage status was about a few days ago where I said along the lines of people should learn to shut their mouths if it's going to hurt other people. A lot of you had assumed that some person or some people had said something horrible to me that led me to write the status, which is correct. As a lot of you know, I get a lot of emails most days either asking for help or giving me advice and asking me to do videos and stuff. But this one email in particular wasn't a very nice one. I won't go into major detail of what it was about. But along the lines of that I was too fat and ugly to be doing vlogs and being like a spokesperson for mental health and that if I want the group to succeed I need to find someone really pretty and thin to be sort of the face of Sprinkle of Courage and do all the vlogs. And I am not ashamed to admit this that it really really did hurt my feelings it really did sting and I am rather ashamed to admit that I didn't want to vlog I was considering not vlogging at all I was you know never going to post any pictures of myself I wasn't going to vlog I was just going to stick to blogging and answering messages because I was very very upset and wondered if that's what everybody was thinking that I shouldn't be doing this I shouldn't be vlogging and my face be the face of Sprinkle of Courage. So it really, really did put me in a very, very bad place. A lot of you must be thinking, well, I must have got over it, otherwise this vlog wouldn't be happening. But actually, it still hurts me even today, and it only happened a few days ago. But the reason I'm doing this vlog is something that my mum said. She said, if you stop vlogging or stop doing Sprinkle of Courage, then that person has won. He got what he wanted. He got you to stop vlogging. He got you to stop Sprinkle of Courage. You've given in to him. And why should he be the one to say when Sprinkle of Courage or the vlogging should end? And I took that on board, you know, obviously, because I'm here. But I was still incredibly, incredibly nervous getting back <laughs> in front of the camera. Even now, you know a lot of it, I do suffer from anxiety and I do have a lot, as I've said in the suicide, when I talked about my suicide attempt video, I do struggle with self-worth. And then having that horrible email to me, it really did lower my self-confidence down to about this small and it wasn't that big to begin with. So even now I'm thinking in my head going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But... I am not going to stop because I know this group has helped a lot of people, it has helped me and it continues to grow every day and if people wanted this group to stop they would have told me a long long time ago and it wouldn't have become nearly a thousand people. We are not that far off getting a thousand likes on Facebook which is amazing so keep 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 passing on to other people and getting awareness out. I have been a big girl my entire life and over the 20 years of my life I have got nasty comments about the way I look and snide comments and bullying and it stings, it hurts and I'm sure a lot of you know what it feels like when you get nasty comments about the way you look or a flaw that gets pointed out and becomes a focus to someone else's attention. And a lot of people just say, it's just making them feel, you know, they feel small, so a way of making them feel big, it just makes them feel better. But it sucks. It really, really sucks. It's incredibly hard to have to deal with if you have to face it on a day-to-day -day basis. And it totally belittles your confidence down to nothing. And it's a horrible, horrible life to live in constant fear of what they're going to say next. But you know what? If you let them do it to you, you're adding to your you're adding to it the reason they continue to do it is because you don't stand up for yourself 
you have to learn to stand up for yourself and put your foot down. Part of this group's name is courage and I believe in that 100%. Overcoming anything you need courage, overcoming a bully, overcoming self-harm, suicide, grief, any sort of mental illness or anything like bullying, you have to have a bit of courage, hence why it's called a sprinkle of courage. And as soon as you find that little bit of courage, anything can become possible. The impossible becomes possible. And as soon as you stand up for yourself and show them that you ain't going to take this crap, they're going to get aboard rather fast. And I learned that when I got bullied for my way. I eventually stood up for myself after taking it. And you know what? They didn't like me standing up for myself because they like the fact that they can make you run away and cry. They like the fact that they can make you, make you feel embarrassed and ashamed to be yourself. But as soon as you stop them, it's not fun for them anymore. And they stop. So that's what you have to do. You have to find that little bit of courage that is inside yourself and you use it to stand up for yourself. I can talk about standing up for yourself and all of this till the cows come home, but it does work because I've done it in the past. But what I, what I haven't decided is what to do about the comment or the message, the email that I received from the guy and I decided to ignore it for a while and he hasn't messaged me again since but I'm going to take my own advice from the video and if he messages me again about this vlog or anything else I post in the future I am going to stand up for myself because out of all the 900 people over 900 people that have liked the Facebook group all the people that have emailed me all the comments and everything to do with the group that has received it is one person over 900 people that don't like it. So if he doesn't like it, then don't watch it. Don't be a part of the group. This group is to help people understand their mental illness and to give them a safe place to talk about it and feel fine and okay with themselves just for a little second. And it isn't going to work if some people can't understand it and bring everybody down. So even though I'm doing the video now and I'm posting it onto the internet, in a bit I'm still terrified to think about what everyone's thinking about but you know what I have to have courage and I created this group for a reason like I just said and it isn't gonna stop because some people don't like what I do if everybody stopped what they were doing because of a few people that didn't like what they were doing nothing would ever happen in the world nothing would there's always going to be a few people they think it's their business to tear other people down when in reality they need to take a hard look at themselves before pointing out flaws in everybody else so that was my quick video on bullying and i hope you enjoyed it also thank you all very much for the lovely lot of love i get from all the weird blogs i seem to post like the last two were rain and halloween but a lot of you like my weird comparisons to what having a mental illness is like in rain and halloween so I will continue to post more of them. But if you have a weird thing that you sort of link with mental illness, let me know and I will blog about it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're new to the website, check out the other ones and I will see you next time.